YouTube. Uh, it turned spring yesterday and um, that always gets me in the mood to make my vegetable garden. And uh, a good rule of thumb here in North Alabama is that you're supposed to wait until April 1st, but eh, only nine more days to go. I'm gonna show you how to make a very simple, small, easy vegetable garden. No matter where I've lived, whether it was in a condo or an apartment or a townhome or even a rental house, I've always had a spring garden. If I didn't have the liberty to plant something in the ground, then I would have a patio garden and just plant my vegetables in pots. This is a raised garden that my husband and nephew helped me create several years ago. The stone came from Lowe's. But I've also had loaves uh, cut four foot pieces of wood for me and then I would screw those together and create a raised bed that way. But you don't even need the wood or the stone to have a garden. You can have an earth bed, which is the way I begin all of my gardens. Right here you see that I am turning over the, the old dirt from last year's garden and I'm going to incorporate fresh soil but with an earth garden, what you'll do is you'll make a trench two to three inches around a uh, four by four area. My spot now is four by eight. First, you will pick a spot, a place with lots of sun, about six hours of direct sun. And then you'll cut down the grass. You'll turn the earth using a shovel. And then you'll add in some bag soil. I am adding some fertilizer at the bottom of the planting hole before I put my plants down. Just a tablespoon. I think that companion planting is important. It not only repels insect pests, but attracts beneficial insects. This is the first year that I'm trying to grow carrots, and I've read that carrots love tomatoes. Tomatoes are also known to produce solanin, which is a natural insecticide that targets pests affecting carrot plants. Tomatoes benefit from carrots too. Carrots aerate the soil around the roots and allow more air and water to reach the roots. The carrots are an experiment this year, so time will tell if they do well here in the south. I'm adding lots of marigolds to my garden this year because the strong scent of marigolds inhibit hornworms, aphids, white flies, and nematodes. The plant also attracts pollinators, which is great. Two other plants that I'm adding are basil and lavender because they make excellent companion plants for tomatoes.